Here's the front pasture and food forest. Oh, Paige forgot to mow it. <laughs> this is my patch that has my flax in it. You can see the huge difference. That package of seeds was $12. Uh, saying that it was heirloom and it was going to be great for textiles. Those two patches were from Mary's Heirloom Seeds. Smaller packets. Um, and you can see the difference. They all receive equal amounts of water and fertilizer. So I do have the link to Mary's Heirloom Seeds. The rest of this is greens and bindweed and herbs and flowers. And what I'm going to do right now is this was where I had burned a stump that was part of my permaculture. And my little babyish greens are ready to start picking. So I'm gonna come through and thin them out a bit and take a salad to my mom's because I am a little bit under the weather today. And um, what I'm also going to do is pick the bindweed and save it for the rabbits. Bindweed likes to come in from the edges. It likes to come in from everywhere. It doesn't like really rich soil. Let's see, I'm gonna put that in a different spot. It doesn't like really rich soil. It does really well on sparse kind of nasty soil as long as it's getting watered. But um, obviously in a bed like this, you can't just put ducks out in it because they'll eat the greens as well as the bindweed. And i got to start being careful now because I've got some things in here, like you can see these little cabbage leaves, brassicas. If I'm not careful in how I pull these out, I'm going to be pulling brassicas. And what I did here was I just broadcast a mix of greens. It was a, a greens lettuce mix. So a lettuce mix is mostly what you see here. There's a lot of other things in here, obviously the flax, but um, I've got some uh, amaranth here and I know I have echinacea, I have poppies, I have all sorts of things. This one here is supposed to be have a little bit of, of pea vine in it and um, lucerne and clover because it was supposed to be a cover crop. So anything I had that was outdated I just broadcast it because anytime you have a really bare open spot the more seeds you can put in it the better it will do. You can see on that side, that's pretty much the only side where I really have bindweed coming in. And so that's where I focus my attention. But you can, I mean, the only thing that this cost me was some old seed that I'd purchased years ago and water that I would have used to water a lawn. If, you know, if, if lawns were my kind of thing. I don't understand why Paige didn't finish mowing up here. Oh my goodness. Anyway. So this is an opportunity to create a food system that is a huge amount of food and when we're not eating it anymore the rabbits will be eating it this is a year supply worth of food for rabbits at least the four rabbits we have and uh, so this is really exciting to see exciting to play with and I'm gonna go ahead and pick my bowl of lettuce to take to my mom's and I'm gonna pick more of this bindweed to feed to the rabbits and um, again every year I try something different just because if you don't experiment, see how huge that plot is? If you don't experiment, you don't learn new things. And thanks for watching. And someday when I'm actually wearing makeup, we'll try an in-face video. Talk to you later.